Hey everybody, it's David Bott here from OutsiderBubble.com and I'm bringing you a maintenance tip video. Um, and this time the maintenance tip is going to be on a very important part of your engine and that's the air filter. The air filter. A lot of people don't know this, however, your air filter should be changed every two years regardless if you're using your motor coach or not. Why? Because they're paper. They're paper air filters and because of that they decay and they, they brittle over time. And because of that they can get sucked into the engine if it's not built properly or if something goes wrong structurally with the air filter itself. And the first thing it hits is your turbo, then it gets into your rings. You have all types of issues if you ever disintegrate an air filter. So air filters should repla be replaced every two years on your diesel motor coach. Now this is a 2014 Tiffin Allegro bus and we're going to replace the air filter and I'm going to do it myself. And the reason I'm going to do it myself is because, well, they want $110 to do it. And I can save myself $110 because it's not very hard to do um, as long as, you know, you have easy access to it, which in the Tiffin that we have, you have real easy access to it. So all you have to do is you order yourself an air filter and they ship it right to you. And it looks like this. And on mine, it's an all-in-one. So the air filter comes um, all inside this canister all in one and nice look how nice and clean that looks and everything and we're going to be replacing the one inside the motor coach with this the worst part about it is getting it out the bottom so make sure your coach is raised up high enough so you can drop this turn it like this and get it out and then go back up and then back into place and you'll see what i mean by that in there there's going to be two things we're going to deal with a top uh the top part coming in from the intake and then the bottom part which then goes to your turbo so intake turbo. Um, so in any case, that's what it looks like when it's new. Let's get to showing you how we take it apart or take it off and put the new one in. And uh, you'll see the difference after I remove it. Make sense? Hope so, because it's very important and you should be doing it. So I'm just going to set this aside for now. And we're going to open up the engine bay. And in here is the filter. So as you can see, this is the intake right here. The intake coming from, uh, from the top of the coach because the air comes in from the top to, to keep it out as much as possible. So this is the intake tube. And then down here, this comes out and that goes into the turbo uh, and everything in there for, the for the compression of the air and everything for the diesel engine. So what we're gonna be doing is doing two things. Taking off this clamp right here with a screwdriver. So you need a flathead screwdriver and then we're going to take off this clamp here and then later we'll take off this clamp and on this coach it requires a 716 wrench. Now you have to thread this back a pretty good distance to get it loose so I recommend if you have a ratcheting uh, set that would be that that's ideal. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now but um, as you recall um, I always try to do safety stuff so Safety first, I got my glasses on because I will be going underneath the motor coach to drop that down and I don't want anything to fall into my eyes or anything like that. So I always try to use my safety glasses and I always used to usually try to protect my hands a little bit uh, for the same type of reason. Because there's clamps on here, the clamps to remove the canister itself that hold it onto the engine can be tight sometimes and it'll snap. So, um, any case. Uh, so here we go. What we're going to first do is come back. I'll let Brenda position herself again. My handy dandy assistant doing all this. And all we're going to do first off is we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come into here and uh, remove, oh, wrong way, of course. We're going to want to remove this clamp. So loosen it, I should say, not remove it. What we're doing is this is, this is a, once you get it to a certain point, you'll be able to pull this clamp and it will release all together. It's a, it's a, it's a loaded clamp. And you can see it's already starting to loosen. So I'm basically just, this is why I'm using a ratchet one is a real good one um, because it would take you forever if not. So I'm just trying to get this out. Almost out. Oh, right. And uh, got it to the point where I can use my hands to turn it. And as long as this, is, this becomes loose enough on here, um, you'll be able to pop this right off the, uh, right off the pipe. Oh, crash and burn. There goes my lights. Oh well. Hey, it wouldn't be me if something didn't happen when I was working on the coach, right? Brenda actually said that before we started. She goes, you're going to end up dropping that light. 
she goes, that's okay. It'll, it'll make the video better. And of course it does. So, um, I think this is loose enough at this point. We'll find out soon enough. And then what we're going to do now is I'm going to loosen this one here. This is just your regular um, slide clamp with the teeth and the and the uh, screwdriver thingy to back it off. And you can see, once again, we're just going to make sure it's loose. And since it's been on there for two years, you know, it's got a little stickiness to it. So you want to make sure you break the seal, as you can see. So that's what I'm trying to do here. There we go. See, it popped. So that's nice. Now it's loose. Okay, so I know this will drop out of here, and then this will drop down, and then we can remove, well, then we'll remove this one. So we just want to make sure then, again, that this is loose enough, and it should be. Okay. Isn't this fun, guys? Come on, you're saving yourself $110, depending on where you might go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is there's, there's these two straps right here and here, which is holding this all into place now. And what we're gonna do is just gonna pop these straps. Okay? Now, that's what holds that into place. Now, right now, it's being held up by nothing more than, uh, see, the clamps were holding it in place. The ridge, the ridge was, the, from this clamp here, it was holding on the bottom of that ridge. As soon as I removed that, it slipped down. But now, this is where you're gonna wanna start to work this off. And this is where it's gonna wanna fall to the ground. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put that back there again and I'm going to remove this ring or the rubber it does come off just takes a little work and I'm rushing myself which is not the best idea Maybe this is why they get $110, right? <laughs> it does come off. There we go. Just gotta give it a little leverage. It is rubber, it's just gonna bend anyways. Okay, and then this one, as you can see, it slid down when, I, when it dropped. So this is all nice and loose. So now what I'm gonna be able to do is I'm gonna be able to go down there and get it out from underneath the coach, hopefully without dropping it on my head. So gonna make sure this this clamp is released and then we're gonna drop this down now your mud flap is down there by the way your rock guard so you're um, it's resting on it's resting on top of the rock guard right now so you got to come underneath here and move your rock guard out of the way and drop it down. Hi! So, that's it. We just removed it. And then you just gotta tip it sideways to get it out. Oh, those are the drain holes. These are the drains for the air conditioners. Okay, so. Here's the filter. Here's the bracket that was holding the filter on. And We're just going to remove the secondary clamp, the secondary clamp, so we can change it and put it onto the other, put it onto the other uh, filter. Again, it just takes time to because it's a short thread. Um, it just takes time to uh, back it off enough. And it should be released at this point enough, I would think. Yeah, it's just got to, it's just, again, been stuck on there for two years. So you got to get it off the rubber. And here, there we go. Almost. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now 
you got to just wrench it off. Now, the good news here is this filter is not as bad uh, as I thought it was going to be. Um, as it, I, I have another one. I'll show you images from the last one I did. I took pictures. I'll insert them right about here, and you can now see the differences between the air filters are what sometimes what they look like it all depends on the area you've been in we haven't been doing a lot of traveling this time but again you want to replace them because the paper breaks down so this is the new one this is the old one doesn't really look that bad of a difference which i'm really surprised at but if you look at the picture from the old one that i took out from when i when i put this one in you can see it was really bad but what you can see on the inside is you know there's bugs and stuff in there on that one I don't know if you can see the old one here. There's bugs and stuff. Um, the last one I took out had a, had a bee's nest in it. Um, but in any case, the whole point of it is even though, even though this looks clean, I still would rather replace it to be safe. So, any case, inside the, uh, inside the new air filter, you'll find this little piece that comes. This is, a, this is a little rubber grommet, and the rubber grommet goes into the bottom of the air filter. This is your drain hole. So when, if water or anything gets inside, it will drain out this bottom rubber grommet here um, that'll pinch off at the bottom. So you wanna make sure you insert that like that. Just goes right in there and that's where water will drain out the bottom of it just in case kind of thing. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and we're gonna kind of just put this back on. Goes on easier than it comes off. But you wanna keep, keep it loose. The reason you want to keep it loose is because you don't, you got to make sure you position it right onto the turbo input. And unless this can move a little bit, uh, this, this, uh, you won't be able to put it directly on to where you need it because you, if you have it tilted one way or the other, uh, and you can't, and you can't twist it, then you're going to have a problem. So just leave that loose for now. We'll tighten that up later when we get it in there. Once we get it on the pipe. Okay. Just rip off that. Don't need that. And this is the brand new one ready to go. And this is the, um, the strap that we took off that goes on this one here. Now this is the hardest part. The hardest part is getting the sucker up into there and getting it onto the pipe. Uh, and I really hope I can do this without a problem, uh, without Brenda's help to try to get it in there because I gotta try to line it up while I'm underneath the coach and push it up onto there. And usually it, it's easier with two people if I recall from last year. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'll remember, and maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. The top one is not as easy because that's on a flexible tube, so that one will push up just fine. It's this one that's harder to get. So let's see what happens, shall we? Brenda, you're going to want to get up and we're going to go back under here now. You'll be able to use the mud flap to your advantage at some point, but it has to get onto here. That's the problem. That's what we're going to work on is getting it onto there. Okay, so. Ah. Okie dokie. So, I gotta back this up now. Now I got it twisted. Oops, I knocked off, I think I knocked off the ring. I did. Gonna need that on there. And what I'm gonna do is line this up into the brackets here. There we go. Okay, hang on, let me see if I can get that now. What I did is I raised it up and I put it on the edge of the, uh, I put it on the edge of the motor coach lip down there. So what we're gonna do now is, and then my head might get in the way, but oh well, is we're gonna get this to slip over this. Just takes a little bit of finesse just to get it in there. You can see I got a little ways to go still. And these aren't helping me right now. There we go. Let's see? There we go. So now what I can do is once I get that in like that, I can bring this up and hopefully let it rest on the edge of this here. 
there we go oh <laughs> okay so hopefully you can see that I am on this pipe the turbo intake pipe here so you can see that this is in which is the thing I was just fighting on that's why you have to leave these loose so you can move it around and make sure you can get that in there but once you get that in there now you got to grab don't forget this you're going to need this to go back here and then this since this is on a flexible tubing you can just line this up on here do 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 and push down on it and that will go right over the top of that much easier than the bottom one and much easier again when you don't have a water hose in the way or an air conditioning drainage hose okay so this this is on here this is on here now we need to raise it up high enough to get this strap underneath this lip okay again takes a little finessing because there you got you got forces working on different directions um, but once you get it up in there you're fine like that so now I just got to bring this strap over and hopefully get it to catch okay see that right there that's where I'm trying to catch it and I did so now if I can get this back up now I can lock it okay now that won't fall so now I just gotta do the bottom one see that and that's that so it's uh, below the lip this this lip I'm talking about the lip of the air filter okay and that strap just it just basically just holds that right there bottom strap just holds it you know just more snugly and it's off the ground and now all I have to do is tighten up that bring the turbo line up so it's not pushed down so it's just like it was you can almost see the dirt line so I'm just adjusting it up on the other side back in this line there's another rubber grommet and that's what's allowing me to move the uh, the intake to the turbo okay. so then you're just gonna go reverse and tighten everything up okay so far so good and actually that's basically it so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten this tighten this tighten this and then last but not least over here if you want to just back up a step there love this is your air filter gauge um, right here you can see when it gets up to the red it that's if your air filter is clogged it'll suction up this yellow up to the red and that's you're telling you that your air filter is getting clogged and if you ever get that put to that point you've got to change it right away but if you don't get to that point change it every two years and then what you want to do is just hit the bottom the bottom the bottom of it and you'll see it a reset that's a so it's a new air filter that will go up that's based on suction um, so in any case that's how you replace your air filter in your motor coach now I struggled a little bit because I was doing this myself and like I said Brenda normally would be able to help me because I would push it up from the bottom and she would just line it up but you can see it just saved me 110 bucks and it really didn't take that long to do so I hope this makes sense so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten these things up and call it a day I'm Dave Bott from Outside Our Bubble and if you like what we do please click subscribe I'll give us a thumbs up and uh we brought you a number of videos over the years I don't know how many more of these videos I have in me but I figured that this was an important enough one to do uh, because it's something you can do yourself it just takes a little bit of time and you can save yourself some money and it should be done every two years okay take care keep safe we'll see you on the road Dave Bott saying see ya